Hey guys, welcome back. How are you? Hope you're good. I'm good. Um, I'm going to do something a little bit different today. Well, I'm going to start it today and finish it tomorrow. I have got this big mold that I bought a while ago, a platter. I'm going to do something with that. Um, I'm going to move it out of the way. I just wanted to show you what I'm going to use. So that's it there. I'm going to move it out of the way. And I've got these different size slices of timber. They've got a nice kind of woody little edge there. And I've got some smaller ones. And then I've got some little baby ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to arrange them in my mold. So, and kind of make, and then I think I'm going to make like a bowl out of it, a shallow bowl. So what I've got, first of all, I need to seal them with something because I don't know whether or not you saw me do, oh, oh where is it? It was a while ago. I did a big like a coaster with one of these and I didn't seal it and all the air bubbles came out of the timber so it really didn't work so I'm going to put down this little piece of baking paper I've got a wire cake rack I have got some this is bench top clear um, you could use polycrylic any uh, well I'm hoping cross fingers that this will work any sort of um, clear sticky kind of sealer you could even do a thin coat of resin and oh, this is going to be an absolute pain to do but it has to be done if i can get this open it says on the can don't shake it so i haven't haven't shooken it so i'll do oh okay i think it needs a stir though i won't shake it but i will stir it Shaken, not stirred. Hey? <clears throat> Alright. So it's just like a milky white sort of a, a colour. It did look as if it needed a stir, hey? But obviously not a shake because you'll get too many bubbles in it. So what I'm planning on doing, and like I said, it's going to be an absolute pain to do, but I have to do it. I've got this little... Um, sponge brush here and I just keep it in a Ziploc bag that way I can use it again and again so that's it there um, and I'm going to basically I'm gonna have to paint each of these which is not exciting I thought like, maybe I could even dip them I think with the smaller ones I'll actually just dip and I'm gonna just do that. See the sponge brush is really good because you can, you know, zhuzh it like this to get all those little creases and crevices, nooks and crannies covered. Put your gloves on because it's sticky. So I'm hoping this will work as a sealer because timber, you know, is, is a natural product and it has lots of little holes in it you know and they all trap air and then when you resin the bubbles come out and oh my gosh it's just horrendous so that's it there and um, I'm just going to lay it down make sure we get any little bits off lay it down on this wire rack um, I think with the smaller ones I'm actually just going to like dip them like that otherwise I'm going to be here all night aren't I so that's the plan, Stan. All right, so I'll just smooth the top over because we don't want it to be too thick. So anyway, that's what I'm going to do. And um, I'll come back to you um, for the next step. So stay tuned. Alrighty, oh guys, welcome back. It's the next day. 
quarter to nine in the morning. I'm keen to get this done. I'm just hoping, cross fingers, that the coat that I put on was going to be enough. I only did one. Um, this, this I used to have acrylic pouring on, so it's got a bit of paint on it. So a little bit of paint's got stuck to the back, but it's, I'll make that the, um, the bottom. I should have thought about that beforehand. But anyway, all my little bits are done. Move them out of the way and let's get this show on the road, hey? Let's put that over there. Oh, I'm a bit excited, but I'm a bit nervous too. I'm going to move that because it's got all... I'll keep it. It's got all little drips of um, clear gloss on it now. Right, let's get our mould. We're still taping? Yes. Okay, so that's it there. Just make sure that that's still centred for you. Pretty good. Oops, wrong way. How's that? So this was the one I was telling you about. I found it. That um, I put just one slice of timber in. But I didn't seal it. And all the bubbles came through. I tried sanding the back. But it was, it was just too hard. So that side's okay. But lesson learned from that one. Now if this doesn't work today, I've got handles ready to go. And the only concern I have is, like, this is this is my little printout. I put all my pieces in here, my slices, yesterday. I took a photo so that I could remember where they all were. Now, the only thing with this is because these slices are quite big, it's not going to bend, is it? Because, I mean, I can't bend halfway through a slice of timber. So that's my only concern. So I'm thinking maybe I'll try and push them more into the centre and have the little ones around the outside so that I can just maybe bend the lip up because you, you know what I mean I can't bend where I would want to sort of bend through here but I'm not going to because I can't bend a piece of wood so that's my issue so we're just going to go with it and see what happens um, I've got my resin this is the Barnes Clarity because it's it doesn't have a lot of bubbles it sets hard like in about Four hours. I can usually unmold it when I'm doing coasters. Um, make sure I haven't got any bits of fluff. I did go through with my masking tape and take off off all the little bits of fluff and things. So I've got 480 grams of resin, and I'm just going to put down a little coat first because I don't want the timber to touch the bottom. You know, I want a little. A little layer of resin before I put the timber down. My little slices. I just got them on eBay, but I'm sure, you know, wherever you are in the world, I'm sure you'll be able to find wood slices or timber slices. Uh, they come in lots of different sizes. This is just what I had, but in hindsight, I probably should, like, I'll, I'll definitely do this again because I love the idea. And I've got a lot of timber in my house, so, you know, I'll make a few platters for myself. Uh, dishes, trays, whatever you want to call them. Um, but next time I'll order the smaller ones so that I can actually bend this. I didn't think about that at the time. I thought, oh yeah, that'll work. And then I was thinking about it this morning. I thought, no, it's not really going to work because I can't bend my timber. Hey. So, but anyway, it's done. I've coated them all with that clear varnish. So I kind of need to use them. This is taking a while, isn't it? Sorry. And I wasn't sure how much resin I was going to need. I, once I've laid all these out and I've poured the resin on, if I still need more, I can quickly make up some more. Because, you know, it's only five minutes to make up another batch of resin to pour over the top. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is taking longer than I thought. It's a big mould. In you go, come on, in you go. I guess I could put a little bit more on, couldn't I, just to make the whole thing a little bit easier, because I've got a few little areas there where that hasn't quite covered. So what I'm basically doing is just making sure that I get a thin layer to cover the whole mold. 
the timber slices will displace the resin and what I mean by that is you know when you, you run a bath and it's only half full and then you jump in and the water goes whoop all the way up to the top because you've, you've taken up room obviously so that's what this is going to do as well okay I think that'll, that'll do that will do I might give that a bit of a torch just a light torching not too close just pops of bubbles as I said the barn's clarity is pretty good for um, being clear as the name says nice and clear now where am I gonna I have to move everything so I can bring my little tray back I've got some tweezers if I need to pick up something and and move it because I'm sure I will now there's my tray I'm just going to put it off to the side here I'm not going to do the whole well I'll, I'll start it and then I think what I'll do is I'll um, like fast forward and show you I won't like pause it and do it and then come back to you and go oh look it's all done I'll actually show you but I'll fast forward it up but we'll get started and do the first few first so there's my picture I'll put that there so I can sort of keep an eye on how I'm going I'm trying to find the one that matches though is a little bit tricky so I've gone for ones that have got like quite a nice little timber edge on them rather than just seeing that light color I like seeing this other colour on the side, which I think is really pretty. Righto, here we go. Ooh. Now I'm going to see if I can see on the picture here. I had it quite close to the edge, but I'm not going to be able to bend that, am I? I? I just really don't know. Maybe I won't use. Maybe I won't use them all. That way I can still sort of bend the lip. Maybe that's what I'll do. Yeah, Let, let's do that. Not use them all. Then that, at least I can, you know, bend the sides up a little bit. So yeah, I won't follow the picture. I'll just, I'll just place them. Okay, here we go. It's just a shame we've got some paint on the other side. But anyway, this is just a practice, hey? A little practice one. Where will we put you? About there. So I'm going to try and leave roughly the same amount, I guess, of space all around. I can move them around. <laughs> See, I would have normally put one in here. Oh, there's bubbles. Why are, oh, why are we bubbles? Is that just because I put it in and there's air caught underneath, maybe? Don't know. So you can come down a little bit into there. I, don't, I have no idea, you guys. I don't know how this is going to work at all. So I would like another one there. But then it's getting too close to the, the side. How about you go there? Because you're a little bit smaller. There's another small one. But you haven't got like a, I don't know, oh, I don't know, I have no idea. Um, <clears> hmm. <throat> the other thing was putting the bigger ones in the center and then just put lots of little ones around the outside, but I probably haven't got enough little ones now. Maybe I could just do this. How about we do that? That kind of, how's that? So I'm still not going to be able to bend this though, am I? On the sides. It's not going to work. I'm going to have to take one out. I think. If I can get it out. Oh, it doesn't want to come out now. It's stuck. Turn it upside down and stick it over here on the tray for a minute. Alright, let's think about this again. You can go there. You can go there, you can go there. I don't have enough little ones. Two, 
to um, <clears throat> to fill in too many gaps. That's the only thing. So I wanted one on the corner there. Well, not the corner, the edge. I think that looks pretty. And then this one comes out, so that can go there. Oh, I don't know, you guys. What about if I, if I put that one back in the middle? But that's what I had before and it didn't work. Um, <clears throat> you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put some more in. And if I can't bend it, well then so be it. So be it. As long as I get a little bit of room on the side. See, I really need something down here. I don't think I've got room. I think I've got room to put anything there. A little too big. I'm going to move you down. It's, it's not going to fit. I need smaller ones. I need smaller ones. How about we just do that? Okay, and a little bit of space between them. I think that's about as best as I'm going to get it. I think. A little bit of space there, a little bit of space there, a little bit of space there. Turn you so we've got a little bit more space there. Actually, maybe you two can swap because. You're quite big. You're only little. Maybe that'll work better. Yep, that'll work. The bigger ones on the edges, the little ones in the middle. Are you bored yet? Again, come on, hurry up. Okay, I think that'll do. That'll work. If it doesn't, too bad, so sad. All right, so I've still got two left. Which means, oh no, but I wanted this one because this has got lots of, oh, I can't get it out. It's got lots of yummy timber edges. You're a better one to have. Look at that. He's much nicer. Right, let me wash my hands. And um, I'll just start placing, hey? The little ones. Well, this is the next size down anyway. And I'm hoping that they're not going to float. That's why I haven't filled up the um, the mould. Oh, look, there's bubbles. That's why I haven't filled up the mould because I don't want them to, to like float. basically just fitting them in. All right, so I'm gonna just stop the video now and then I can fast forward the rest. All done, you guys. Wasn't exactly what I had planned to begin with, but hey, I've got two left. Um, I'll use them again for sure. I'll just wipe this 
resin off the back. Do it now while I can still do that. Getting cleaned up a little bit. I really like that. Okay, so now um, I've got some more resin and let's just pour it on. I guess it would have been nice if I had a few more little ones, but I think also the appeal of this is going to be that you can actually see through it. So I'm not, I don't think I'm too worried about that. Let's pour this over. I don't know if this is going to be enough, but like I said, I can always make up some more. It's only going to be five minutes of measuring up and making up a little bit more. I don't, oh, look, they're floating. <laughs> That's what I was worried about. <clears throat> but um, if this was going to be a tray, I would just pour that first half and then let it dry. And then when they're all sort of sunk down, then I would pour another layer on top. But because I want it kind of banded a little bit, if I can, um, I kind of, I need to pour it all together. Otherwise, you know, the bottom half will be hard and then the top half won't be. Oh, they're floating, you guys. Yeah, I don't know that this is um, such a good idea for a, a platter with bent sides. It would have been, certainly would have been better if I just turned it into um, a tray. Maybe I should just turn it into a tray. What do you think? Uh, it's it's kind of half done now because I've it's floating. You know, I kind of have to go with it. I've got my handles, but you know, I could put them there. Could do that there and there on the edges, either side of these these two. So, um, <clears throat> but look, it's it's filled up already. Give me five minutes, I'm going to make up some more resin and um, I'll cover it. I've mixed up another 300 grams of resin. So this is uh, about 800 grams in all. So let's go again. I think it's easier just to pour it on top of one of the rounds rather than into the actual mold itself and displace more little round ones. But they keep wanting to move and float around. So, <laughs> oh dear. I do love to experiment, hey. Look, look, they're going. Come back. Just keep popping them down. It doesn't really matter to me if they if they float because um, hopefully they will all stay under the resin, like they have a bit of resin over them. And when I take them out, once they've like set, like touch dry, but still malleable or soft, bendable, um, this side will go over the top of my bowl and that will kind of push them down as well. Do you know what I mean? It'll push them flat, hopefully. Let's get all that out. I think this is enough. I just wanted to make sure that I had enough to actually cover these big ones, which I have. They're, they're, under, they're under the surface now. So that was my plan. And the other guys, well, they'll just have to do their own thing I guess not much I can do with them they just want to kind of float around but yeah <laughs> oh my gosh I guess it's not ideal using something like this for a, a bowl that you want to bend but as I said I had already organized it prepped it I could have turned it into a tray I still can turn it into a tray but I want to try I want to Experiment. I want to see if I can get this to at least have a little bit of bendiness on the on the on the outside here on the edges. So let's make sure that they're all got resin on the top. Um, I'll come. I'll sort of come back and poke them down like every half hour or so, just to see if I can get them to sort of stay where I want them to. But 
I don't think I'm going to win this battle. Right, I'm going to torch. And then, um, yeah, like I said, I'm going to come back every half an hour and just check on them. Push them down a little bit. Pop any bubbles that have come up. Um, check on it. And then when it's touch dry, when I can sort of start bending it, then um, I'll come back to you and turn the video back on, hey? Eh? How's that for a plan? Took much more resin than I expected. I wasn't expecting it to take 800 grams. That little bit's still up, that tiny little edge there, still up. All right. I'll leave you there. And, um, yeah, I'll come back to you soon. We'll see what happens. Unless I change my mind and turn it into a a platter and put handles on. I wish you could talk to me. Oh, all right. I'll see you soon. Hey, guys. I was thinking, after I turned the video off, I was thinking... These guys are all floating, and even the big ones ended up floating. And then I thought, what would be better? This top side here, which is kind of uneven because they're all floating, or the other side, which is going to have, you know, a little bit of resin over the whole thing, and it will be smooth, whereas this side isn't going to be smooth. So I thought... What if I turn them all over? So I flipped them all over and you can see that this is the other side. See how they've got tiny little bits of paint on them? <laughs> That's because my wire rack here has got little bits of paint on it. So I didn't think of that, did I? But anyway, I have flipped them all over. That way this side that you can see now will be the bottom. Okay, and then the other side, which is the bottom of this, touching the mold, it should be a nice smooth finish because it's got um, a layer of resin on it so that's what I'm planning that's what I've did I just wanted to show you okay so I'll see you in a few hours I guess hey guys it's been four hours I did get sidetracked with my son coming over and gurneying cushions for, for outside, so I didn't come back and pop enough bubbles. So I can see some bubbles. Um, there's that big bubble I just saw. Oh, here. See, there's a big bubble there. Mm, there. Anyway. Um, and there's a few bubbles here and there. I see down there, there's some bubbles. So I don't know whether it's because they're coming out of the timber or maybe they got trapped underneath, you know, when I lay them down. Maybe I need to kind of put them in on an angle and slide them under the resin. Don't know. But look, first, first time doing this, so lots to learn. There's more bubbles. So anyway, as I said, it's been four hours. Um, and see how it comes away from the side? So I don't know whether or not that's a good time to um, to do the bending. See, oh, it's still really quite soft. Look at that. Okay. Oh, goodness. All right, I'm going to leave it. Put that back in there. I'm going to come back in another hour. I think if I had to turn this over now, it would probably run. All right, so that's the four hour mark. I'll come back in an hour at five hours. Righto, I am back. It has been five hours. I'm still really unsure whether or not I should take it out because when I do this, like the resin stays there, but I can push on it and, and like move it and bend it. So I don't know, but look, I think I'm going to go for it because if I, <clears throat> if I leave it too long, I'm not going to be able to bend it, am I? I? I don't know. I have no idea. We will find out. Now, let me just move this um, over here for a minute. I've got this plastic tray. 
so I thought maybe I could fold it over that uh, or there's this one which is slightly bigger and um, fold it over that um, I'm just gonna have to basically get it out and see what happens otherwise I've got these uh, this one's this one's got a wider flat area and this one's only got a narrow flat area so if I lay it over that it'll kind of be flat there but then be sort of more elongated on the sides hmm I'm not sure I'm, I'm kind of thinking I like the idea of the um, the platter but it would have to be lifted up because it's not very high so if I put that there and then put that there I wonder if that'll work so I just don't know whether I should use that one or that one but we'll try with this one first and see what happens Oops, I'm a bit off center aren't I let me fix you up righto we'll see how that goes it's just sitting there on top of that bowl um, and I've got a piece of plastic like so to sit over the top just so that it's not going to stick hey oh actually I better put my gloves on I'm gonna put these on gee I'm hoping I'm not getting it out too soon I'm just gonna put my little gloves on so I don't leave fingerprints all over it I'm so nervous I don't know why <laughs> all right um what do I do? What do I do? I guess I'm just going to have to... So that's it there. Um, now this, as I said earlier, this top that you can see is going to be the bottom. So I just need to peel it out and lay it straight on here. Because then what's underneath, this side under here, that's going to be our inside of the bowl. Alright, so I'm going to put it over here because I can't show you what I'm doing because it's just not enough. Not enough space, so... Oh, I'm going to peel it out. Okay, I've got it. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. I've got it. Look. Oh, okay. Maybe this one's... Maybe this one's going to be too... Actually, you know, I think it'll be all right, this one. This side. Because you know how I said it's only going to be these edges that are going to be able to be bent? All right, let's bend. Let's give it some pressure. Come on, resin. You can do it. Gee, just as well I got it out. It doesn't really want to bend all that much. I mean, it will. I think it's just a fine, fine line, you know, of when to take it out. Too early. And it'll just kind of drip and run off. I, I am going to do a drip one. I love those. So I will be doing a drip one. A drip bowl. So I'm basically just holding this here. Look at all my fingerprints I'm leaving on it. I don't know what else you're supposed to do about that. But anyway. Alright. Let's see. I'm just going to give it a little bit more of a push. I don't rip it or anything. Maybe I did need to take it out half an hour earlier. So anyway, I'm just gonna I'm gonna play with this. This side here is is good. That edge is is kind of hanging over. I wonder if this one might have been better. I don't think it would have made any difference because um, I can't bend them here, can I? I can only bend from here. I might have to actually get my heat gun out and sort of melt this a little bit just to make it bend down a little bit more. Mm. I guess I could try my little guy. 
I don't really know. <laughs> I don't think that's going to really do much. I'm just going to have to, um, I'm just going to have to play with it and bend it. And see, I want to sort of push in there like that and get like a bit of a, a scalloped sort of an edge. I don't want it just all the same. So I think I'm going to have to just be a little bit forceful with it and push it. Hopefully it'll be all right. But yeah, I'm thinking in hindsight, maybe um, get it out an hour earlier. But then it might have been too early and it might have just all dripped. It is bending. It is bending. Look at that. And I just want like a shallow sort of a, a bowl platter. I don't want it like too steep. See over here where I'm bending it here, there's a gap. I don't know if you probably can't see that. Um, I don't know whether that's what that's going to be doing on the other side because that is actually coming loose there now. Uh, I'm just going to have to keep bending it. Um, I'm going to keep bending. Bend it like Beckham. <laughs> I'll come back to you in a little bit. You don't have to see me doing this. I'll see you soon. So I've bended or bent. Is bent it a word? Bent. I've bent it as much as it as I can. But I can't stay here and hold it for the next couple of hours. So I'm using some tape. And I'm pushing it down and then I'm pushing it down and then I'm sticking it down. It's a nice strong gaffer tape this one. Um yeah I, I do think I should have taken it out at the five hour mark instead of the six hour mark. What time did I start? 9 30. 10 30, 11 30, 12 30, 1 30, 2 30. Oh no, that was five hours. Okay, that was five hours. 10 30, 11 30, 12 30, 1 32. Alright, so five hours. Um yeah look I mean it's still okay. I know mean, I'm bending it. It's just not wanting to stay. I did use my <clears throat> my torch and I sort of heated the sides a little bit. I didn't want to overdo it though because I thought oh, I might melt this plastic. So I didn't do it a lot. Let's see if I can stick that back down. So basically that's all I've done. Um, <clears throat> hopefully it'll give us a nice little, sort of like a little boat, you know, not a very deep bowl, but a little like a little boat. So um, yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm done. These sides are staying down on their own. This side's staying down a lot more than that side. Um, yeah, I don't think I'll put any more on. And we'll just see how it goes, hey? We'll leave that there till tomorrow morning. And with any luck, I'll, I'll unmold it. The only issue is, like, you can see on the sides here, like, fingerprints from the gloves. I don't know. I, I guess that's just... I don't, don't know. Maybe if I did, it like, a bowl, instead of having to push it down and just, put, like, put it inside a bowl, you know, you wouldn't see the fingerprints, but... Anyway, is what it is. We shall see how it goes tomorrow, right? Stay tuned. See you soon. Hey, guys. The time has come. Very excited. Now it's 9.30 at night. Same day. So it's been 12 hours. And um, feels really hard. So... Let's do this. If I can get the tape off. Oh. So this is going to take a little while, isn't it? I probably should have. I don't know, hopefully it won't be too long. I was say I should have done it before I started the video, but hopefully the tape comes off. I was hoping to use this plastic again, but not if it's going to be torn. This silver tape is so strong. I hope I'm not going to shake the table too much. Oh, look at that. It's just going to... I don't think I'll be able to use this plastic again. It's just ripping. I guess if I could take my time, but... You know what it's like when you're all watching. I kind of feel as if I have to hurry. Ugh. 
Oh, here we go. I guess we'll probably get some tape marks from the tape onto the resin, but this is the, the underneath anyway, so I, I don't think it's going to matter too much. Hey. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. Rip that off. Okay, let's do this one. Try not to knock the tripod over. It's right there. I'm gonna get I'm gonna have to move the tripod to get that off. I'll just pause you for one sec. Oh, that was a challenge. I got it all. There we go. Right. Now what do we do? Um, I guess we can take that off, move that, move that. Now, I guess the only downside, I hope that this plastic doesn't make like ripples. Oh, there's, there's bubbles, I can see bubbles. Oh dear. All right, let's get the plastic off. Oh, that comes off really easily. Look at that. Wow, look at that, you guys. I've got a bowl. So I can see, like where I had that plastic, um, it's kind of left a, a couple of ripples. So that's not ideal, like you can see where the plastic was, so next time, yeah, I won't use plastic. This, this is certainly a learning curve, this one, but wow, look at it. I think it's really pretty. I mean, it's not perfect by any means, but I think for a first attempt, I probably chose something a little bit difficult for my first attempt, but um, you can see that there's some, there's been bubbles that have been trapped underneath. Um, my my timber rounds. I wonder if I can put a clear coating over that and to hide these little ripples of the plastic. Oh, look, I won't bother. I'll just go again and put this down to um, lesson learned, hey? But what do you think? Do you like it? Let's come on for a little bit of a close-up here. So we've got, we do have that rounded lip there, all the way around. So, I don't know, maybe it could be like a, a fruit bowl. You could put fruit on it, something like that. I don't know, I'm sure I'll find something to do with it. So there it is, I'm really quite happy with it. <laughs> A little bit disappointed about the bubbles and and that um you know wrap that was over the top there but can't complain for a first time hey like i always say if you learn from it it's certainly not wasted so there we go hope you enjoyed that um i'll set it up for a little photo shoot in the morning and show you then so stay tuned for that